Hello, my name is Alter, and uh, if you think I sound tired, I am. Uh, I just like finished some studying, some revision. Uh, yeah, my finals are coming up, but I just decided to do a video because I just needed to vent and you know, kind of um, just feel some emotion <laughs> in my life because it's just just getting out all my energy and all that so uh, that's why you haven't seen any videos uh, I've uh, mentioned it before uh, but I don't think you guys understand um, but I guess um, this one is just more of a, um, uh, an episode where I can really um, talk about something which is a uh, favorite channel of mine is Celebrating 10th anniversary and it's the Nostalgia Critic, uh, a lot of you guys uh, know him and a lot of you guys watch him and you know he's a big inspiration for me um, I remember the first time I watched him I was, uh, it was about uh, it was uh, I just graduated from high school you know I was going to college and I was about 18 and that was the point where I didn't really know where I was at the point you know emotionally because I was so emotionally torn and uh, you know I've said this a lot of times but when I was you know when I was there you know I, I always say that 2014 is both the worst year and kind of the best year for me because it is like the worst year in terms of emotions and um, emotional dealings and in the best in terms of me going towards the arts and uh, yeah so the nostalgia critic was a big part of that I remember me just going back to my older media which was uh, Avatar The Last Iron Brender and then uh, Samurai Jack and also Teen Titans which is coming up I, I, I promise you uh, it's not gonna be as fast as it is um, I'm gonna have one more uh, filler episode uh, it's gonna be a gaming episode, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I actually planned that for you, your, you guys, um, um, your guy, uh, you know, your um, Independence Day, Fourth of July. But you know, I did kind of do it, and it wasn't as I expected, so I didn't post it. I didn't um, upload it. It's just it was so bad. Um, and one of the things is that um, you know, um, I found. Nostalgia critic because I was whenever when I fi finally finished all the my childhood stuff and you know I was like okay no now I need newer stuff you know I need newer things to kind of pad out my mind and just let me go into to nothing and just kind of you know be just talk to because I didn't really have anybody to talk to I didn't really have anybody to kind of you know like understand my situation because my situation is very much something where a lot of people didn't understand and you know like some of my newer friends as well don't understand it and it's just like well I, I definitely think it's just me then you know I'm just the person where I take things very seriously uh, and you know, yes, we didn't get together, but it's just something where I'm like, yeah, uh, this is something where I invest a lot of time in it and everything else. So you know, this is just something uh, I have to go through, and uh, I did, and I found his videos. And the first video I came across was the uh, last seminary review. I remember coming across that, and I was like, who is this guy? Like, you know, he's going like a little bit like. At a point, it's going a little bit annoying for me, but um, I, I kind of liked it too. It's, it was kind of a weird mixed bag for me. And I was like, yeah, I guess I guess that was okay. And then I looked through his other stuff too. So I guess you kind of can kind of say I'm the Resurgence fan. And I don't know why a lot of people didn't like the Hocus Pocus review because I was like, I didn't watch the movie when uh, he did it, and I was like, I I got it, and you know, I got what he's trying to say, I got what, you know, I get what you know he was implying and everything. And even after I watched the movie, you know, whenever I rewatched the review, it was quite close to the movie. Yes, even though some parts are exaggerated, it's it's meant to be exaggerated. I think you know on his part, I definitely think he wanted to do to exaggerate those parts and everything you know this is purely for a comedic effect I understand that 
hopefully. Um, you know, and um, I, I really, I didn't really think Hocus Pocus was anything. I was just like, yeah, it's a stupid movie, and I mean, you know, it's stupid in a fun way, but you know, also stupid in a quite boring way. Uh, so it's kind of a just a mixed thing there as well. Uh, one of the things as well I um, came across was uh, his uh, life of Timothy Green and at that point I, I got a little bit confused because I'm like what, what, what is he talking about? Uh, like what what do you mean like return from where and you know apparently like he retired the, the nostalgia critic in um, I think it was 2012 when he retired it and um, and apparently he tried something new and I, w I went back to, to the, that and I tried some episodes you know apparently like a lot of NC fans were like no don't do it you know it's, it's, it's bad it's really bad and I went through it and I was like mm, it's it's very amateur but it's, it's fine you know you know you like to do what you do you, you do it you know I, I guess for for a lot of fans, it, it would have been just fine if it said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take a hiatus from doing them. The uh, nostalgic critic is not really retired, not really did, but i um, just going to try new things and I want to try this new format and probably people wouldn't care, like, wouldn't care like you did. There'd be like some people who were like, bring back to the nostalgic critic because this, this is just not working, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I definitely think he has had more fun doing the the nostalgia critic and everything. Like I think, with the new format and everything, it's very much the it's very much the more thought out and planned out and you know has more of that feeling towards it. And um, actually, you know, to be honest with you guys, uh, the last Airbender movie was actually my kind of reintroduction to the show because I, I didn't watch it through out when I was really young like I grew up with a few episodes here and there you know you know how it is like you don't really follow the episodes when you're a kid you're just like oh there's an episode oh there's an episode but sometimes it's a rerun so you're like hey I, I've watched this one before and you know it's like then you know you're like ah fuck it's just the same one <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we I didn't really know like there was uh, even seasons. You know, I, I when I was a kid, I was just like, oh, there's uh, an episode. Oh, Samurai Jack is doing another thing. Oh, uh, Aang is doing another thing. Uh, Sokka's doing another thing. I know they're two different shows, but I'm just saying, like when I was growing up, that's what I was feeling as well. So when I watched the movie, I I actually remember going to the theaters. I don't know, it was like maybe like uh, most likely my family. I went to it. I just remember saying, "Was this the show? Like, I don't, I don't remember the like. I, the one thing I remember when I first watched it as a kid, I was like, the dragon looks cool. Like that was something I was like because like I I was a kid and I'd seen I'd seen much CGI and to this day I kind of when I rewatched Avatar, yeah, I mean when I rewatched the movie, I was kind of like yeah that." Dragon still kind of works because it's very much in the in the dream state, so to say, or the, you know the 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 avatar state, which is the state between the spirit world and the human world. So that that actually kind of works well. Like some of his visuals in the movie worked well. Like I I was like yeah it worked well, but the story alone I was like yeah. He just he just butchered that and you know he tried to defend himself with saying nah I showed my ten year old kid and I'm just like buddy obviously if you're gonna show it to your ten year old kid they're not gonna say dude dude this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life they're probably just happy to see that you did it for them and they're just gonna be like yeah this is good um, but if you show other people I'm sure they're gonna be like dude did you even watch the show I don't I don't think so you probably got a kid's description about the show yes but even then you know it's, it's debatable uh, so yeah that's the first kind of way I was reintroduced back to the show with the uh, with the show as well I mean with this um, 
critic style as well. And you know, I was, I was I really enjoyed his his comedic style, and, his, and I was like, yeah, this is this is pretty good. And I remember, I actually remember watching him when I was a kid. I mean, like I remember the the I Quit video that that he put out once, and I was like, who is this guy? And you know, I I never just caught him because like YouTube wasn't a big thing when I was a kid. It was like eleven or ten or something like that, and. I remember watching and I was like, mm, I don't think he did anything, but you know, it was viral at the time, I remember. Um, and uh, I, I specifically remember that because I was like, uh, in my mind, I was always like, who was that guy who just like went up on the, the table and ripped off his shirt and said, I quit? Uh, apparently, that was Doug. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> it comes full circle. <laughs> my life is my childhood is complete um so yeah um needless to say uh, you know me and a lot of other people are very inspired by him but um apparently like you know there's a lot of uh, inner politics and a, a lot of inner disarray so to say in the, the channel awesome producer world and like it's it has split the fandom to say like oh you know the soldier girl is bad and uh, oh, you know, Nostalgia Critic is not that bad, but it's just that I think that in a business like this, you know, you have to understand that when something works, it's always going to be likely that that thing is going to be pushed more and more, and that's why uh, when um, Nostalgia Critic kind of tried to retire, it didn't work, it just backfired and, and like went out of control. Um, and uh, I, I remember uh, looking up his um, video game confession stuff as well and I was like what happened to those like it, it, like Dominic is not really dead like in the, in the world like he's technically still alive he's just like I guess he's gone to like not doing <laughs> his bartending anymore maybe he's just like chilling at home or you know at, at the same bar but he's um, not exactly bartending um, uh, and obviously we asked that guy is dead you know uh, that's something like that. hey, okay you you made that clear but uh, for Dominic you know not really and uh, the bomb is technically on a hiatus so to say with his wife so to say and everything else um, and yeah you know he's bringing in newer characters like Bill and um, uh, Tamara's character you know on deceit and uh, his uh, newer character, Uncle Lies, who might just be as that guy, but in a, in a more, like, world where he has children and everything, which scares me a lot, because, like, as that guy is just super crazy and super off the walls. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you to you, uh, Nostalgia Critic, you know, it's been such a great ride and I know I'm just in a minority of channels and uh, you know apparently uh, you know Dog Walker like I, I watched that uh, you know Dog Walker does the, the um, serial review and everything and he was quite uh, apologetic about the, the whole reaction thing and I was like yeah I, I kind of knew it was, it was a joke but I, I was just like Hmm, is, does he really hate them? Like, does he really hate the reaction channels? Because I'm not that talented, so to say. Like, I wanted to do something like that, but, you know, I don't really have the time and I don't really have the, the equipment yet, so... And, you know, I'm still studying, I'm still in my parents' place, you know, I'm still doing this and that. I've, obviously, he started in his parents' place too, but I'm just saying, like for me in a, in a setting which doesn't encourage the arts whereas you know America has encouraged arts in the past it's just that nowadays it's kind of cut back because of uh, like government spending and everything and it's just like that and you know nowadays it's more of the the, the internet platform where you can do more artistic stuff and stuff like this so I really appreciate that him and a few other YouTubers as well has has given us 
the the know-how to say oh okay i can do this yeah yeah i i i i know i know i'm not that good yet but yeah I, i'll get there um so yeah guys um i really i really love the nostalgia critic i hope he he goes more but i don't know at one at some point you know you 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 you're gonna run out of movies and you're gonna run out of you know tv shows to talk about and yeah at that point you know what what do you have left you know like <clears throat> these other youtubers as well i see that are dying down is is it's not anything bad against them but it's just like yeah it's it's that point you know like you don't have anything else to to say or you don't have anything else to do uh it's just finding grasping at straws um so yeah even for me you know i do these filler episodes just because I can and just because I, I wanna I wanna do something fun in, uh, like fun and you know not as serious as my reaction videos where I really go in depth and really talk about it where you know I kinda make the a second video talking about it a post reaction episode reaction that I brought back and everything and you know even with me editing stuff down you know copyright has still been on me and you know like I really have to thank the Nostalgia Critic for that as well because he had you know he had shown me like this is fair use and you know th these are the things where you can where you can do like yeah we we we've done full full you know, like episodes together but it's just that you know for me I I realized that uh, I realized that uh, sorry about that I realize that uh, people don't understand something that's like something that's edited down because I'm just like I'm editing down for your guys' uh, viewing pleasure. Like if you wanna go see this, you know, go support the full the proper people, uh, and also support me because I'm trying to I'm trying to show them that I really do love the show. You know, I I don't understand people who manually detect me like I just like bro like i'm giving you free advertisement like who doesn't want that like i mean you know if somebody was to like shout out my channel i'm like oh thank you so much like i i was really surprised when uh i was featured in a in a samurai jack video like uh, when i did samurai jack i was really surprised about that uh but again you know it's, it all comes down to inspiration and everything and muse and all of that so uh thank you nostalgia critic again um and um i like that you finally shaved your hair but i definitely think you're gonna grow it back hopefully i don't know um but if you don't even if you don't you know it's your choice um so yeah that's about it guys i uh i don't know when i'll see you i probably will try to to give you um a video tomorrow hopefully uh, so yeah guys, that's about it, and I will see you when I see you. See you then.